Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by AnyTrans and their new backup management feature. They now offer three backup solutions, a full backup, incremental backup, and over-the-air backups as well. Now, if you do a full backup, this will save up to 10% more data from your iOS device than iTunes does, and incremental backups only backup changes on your iOS device to save both time and space. Now, backups can also be viewed, so when you go to restore, you only restore the data that you want to your iOS device. So if you like to check out AnyTrans, new backup management feature links will be in the description down below welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you compare your xbox or playstation control to your ios device now you need to be running ios 13 or higher in order for this to be supported apple recently added support for xbox and playstation controls to play games on your ios device now this will work on any iphone ipad or apple tv the same way same method applies so let's begin pairing the xbox control now the first thing i recommend is turning bluetooth off and then enter pairing mode on your xbox control by tapping and pressing on the xbox button and then pressing and holding on the share button here on the top just press and hold and then turn on bluetooth and you'll see right here the pairing prompt appear there it is so go ahead and click on the xbox controller simple as that to pair the Xbox control. Now for the PlayStation, all you have to do is you wanna click on the share option and PlayStation buttons together at the same time, and you'll see it here show up on the Bluetooth settings as well, just like that. Once you see the blinking, it is ready to be paired. Click on it, and that's how you connect both Xbox and PlayStation controls to the Apple TV, the iPad, or the iPhone. Now, I'm gonna show you, because you do need supported games to play this, so in the App Store, Apple will be adding Apple Arcade once iOS 13 is released with a ton of supported games. And this is gonna be really cool because you can play these games on your Apple TV. You can also stream these games with no lag to any Apple AirPlay 2 supported television as well. So a lot of Samsung TVs without an Apple TV can stream these games directly from your iOS device. Let's go here to Real Racing 3, one of the new games that is currently supported by the controllers here using the actual controls right here from the PlayStation or the Xbox. Box. So I'm just going to press here through the game just to show you guys how this works here quickly. Uh, but you guys get the idea. So let's go ahead and test the control out here with Real Racing 3. Let's go ahead and press through this beginning here. And uh, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and play Real Racing 3 on the iPad using the actual Xbox control. And again, this also works for PlayStation controls, of course, as you just saw. But you need to unpair one or the other uh, in order to use it, I've noticed that I can't use both at the same time. Hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll see uh, two-player support, which I believe will be possible. I think it's going to work with two Xbox controllers or two PlayStation controllers. It's all going to depend. I'm not sure how Apple is going to deal with that. But you may be able to even use an Xbox and PlayStation controls to play two players. But I haven't been able to get the PlayStation control with the Xbox to have a two-player game working on the iPad or Apple TV, but that could be coming soon, who knows? Or maybe I just I don't know how to fully do that just yet. Remember, this is iOS 13 uh, Beta 1, so a lot of improvements needs to be made, but there it is, the game works, everything works just fine. Of course, the audio also works. I wanna uh, turn down the volume uh, because of copyright, of course, but the volume, audio, image, all works in iOS 13, very easy way to set up. Again, this will work on your iPad, on your iPhone, as well as on your Apple TV, same pairing process will apply. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial on how to pair your Xbox or PlayStation controls to your iOS device. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.